It may appear as if transport and road networks vary greatly from country to country. Yet, when taking a closer look, one easily finds some countries that have similar or equal road research needs. So why not learn from what others have already found and work together on future endeavours? Instead of funding only national research, it can be wise to pool funds and perform research transnationally. This reduces duplication of research and reduces the cost for the individual countries involved, thereby optimally using the available funds. ERANET Road 2, a project funded by the European Commission, has worked on just that on a European level. Its aim has been to strengthen the European research area in road research by coordinating national and regional research programs and policies. These are presented by national road administrations within the Conference of European Directors of Roads. As a tool for this, Eronet Road has developed the Road Research Access Facility. It is a platform which assists national road administrations and the road community in finding solutions to their research needs. It serves as a repository of planned, ongoing and completed road research. The RAF, with its user-friendly interface and advanced search function, provides a tool for knowledge, communication and decision-making. Until now, information on planned and ongoing research has not been easily available. The RAF is to fill this gap. Using a commenting system on research entries and news posts, the Road Research Access Facility offers an excellent communication channel. The project's overview, given by the Road Research Access Facility, provides a quick view of all projects. This may be used for a fast analysis of existing and planned research. In addition to this, a complex algorithm is used to find related projects. The platform helps managers to filter road research information from sources which it links to and to bring together research plans and strategies. The aim is to decrease the number of hits while providing a high quality search result. Using the RAF can result in combined research and the pooling of funds. This not only reduces duplication but also facilitates joint programming, ensuring the optimal use of available funds. Though the Road Research Access Facility is primarily intended for the use of national road administrations, the information contained within it is relevant for anyone with an interest in road research. We invite you to see how it can be of help to you and are looking forward to your contribution. Please visit the Road Research Access Facility at www.rraf.info.